Bricklin says he ghosted Brittany because of her trust issues, have another one of her ghosts joining us on the phone today. He wants to remain anonymous, which I respect. Uh, so are you there? Hey, Doc, I'm here. Thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. So how yeah. many times did you uh, date Brittany? It was brief. We met uh, one time at a party. You know what I'm saying? That was like a little kickback at you know one of a mutual <laughs> friend's house. And uh, we hung out a little bit at the party, and um, after that, we texted for a while. And um, it kind of just ended shortly after that. We didn't really do dates and, you know, get to that point. Yeah, you said her text messages were a red flag to you. What, what was the problem? Oh, man, it was, it was like a number of them, Doc. Like, um, it was kind of like the back-to-back -back text messaging before I can even respond to one. <laughs> Um, and it just seemed like it was like a lot of pressure being put on those text messages initially. Right. So you felt she was a little aggressive? Very much so. Very much so. <laughs> right. So what words of advice would you have for her since you're, I mean, just being honest, you're not going to see her again. She's not going to see you. If you were just trying to like be a brother and give her advice to help her, what would it be? Um, I would honestly say, you know, Brittany, um, I think, you know, you are a good looking young woman. You know, you do have, from what I've, you know, seen, you have a good head on your shoulders. I would say as, as young people, we kind of have this vision in our head of what things should look like. And we have a timeline of when we should get it. But I think they just live life, like learn people and enjoy them for who they are. And if, you know, the chemistry is there, it's there. Yeah, that's uh... That's, that's pretty good advice. What do you think about what he's saying? It's really good advice, yes. I wish he would follow his own advice. Let me get some other advice and input here. Uh, Matthew's joining us. Matthew has, he has the number one YouTube channel in the world for dating and relationship advice for women. <laughs> his advice reaches over 8 million followers weekly, and his YouTube videos have been viewed a few times. 300 million, to be exact. <laughs> He says he's concerned with Brittany's self-worth issues. Matthew, what do you think here? We always have to be aware of the language that we're using. Because mm -hmm. you asked, do you have a girlfriend? Mm -hmm. You also presumably don't want him to be an axe murderer. Mm -hmm. But you don't say, by the way, are you an axe murderer? Right. <laughs> so then why is it that you say that? It's because you've been burnt on that in the past. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem with that is you're telegraphing it to the exact person you want to attract. Uh. It's kind of like in a dating profile when someone says, no hookups. Mm -hmm. That doesn't invite people who don't want to hook up. All it does is show your scars. Mm. It says, this has been my problem in the past, and I'm now telegraphing it to the world. So you're telegraphing all of your insecurities right off the bat. Here's my concern. You get shown a little interest. Mm -hmm and then you go all in based on a little interest. Yeah. Your standard has to be higher than it that. It does. I know that. That's like you going out... <laughs> That's like... It's like you leaving your house and someone says, I like your house. And you go, well, here's a key. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, why... Someone doesn't get a key to your house. Right just because they said you have a nice house. Right. Oh. Now, closure, I want you to hear this over and over again. Closure is overrated, mm. okay? Disinterest is closure. Okay. When someone ghosts you, that's the closure. Mm -hmm. Because in my life, I always, always follow the principle. I never invest in someone based on how much I like them. Mm -hmm. I invest in someone based on how much they invest in me. Oh, that's good. Okay. I'll leave you with this thought. I'll leave you with this thought. Robin says this all the time. Don't burn daylight chasing the wrong one because the right one won't run. Mm, that's good. And you'll know it when you feel it. Yeah. The right one won't run. <laughs>